What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com recapping the news and before I get into things like always greatly appreciate a thumbs up and if you're new here subscribe by hitting the button below. Now for some of the highlights in this video we have details on the upcoming Air Jordan 1 High OG Latte aka Legend Medium Brown. Now there's a good amount from Jordan brand there's more but a lot of this video is full of Nike news. And now without wasting too much more of your time, let's jump into the news. The other day, Nike officially unveiled their Holiday 2023 collection, which typically they don't do. Now, there's a good amount of those shoes that I've already showcased in previous videos, nothing really new. And for the most part here, there's nothing really new, but I did want to show some of the more anticipated releases. And one of those is the Nike Air Foamposite 1 Anthracite. Now, they were expected to be pushed back until 2024. However, it looks like they're on track to drop them this holiday season. For those that don't know, this pair originally dropped back in 2007. They also dropped in 2020. So only three years later, we're going to have the pair once again. So if you're looking to purchase, they'll drop on December 12th. And the retail price will be 240 most of the pairs in the Nike segment will be shoes that were showcased for Nike's Holiday 2023 collection. And the next pair we have to look at is the Nike KD-16 Amp Pearl. The Amp Pearl series officially started on the KD-4 back in 2012. And over the years, we've seen multiple models receive the Amp Pearl treatment. The latest, well, the upcoming pair being the KD-16. The shoes feature a pink foam, white, furious pink, and hyper pink color combination, and they'll drop on October 27th for 170. Since the Amp Pearl series didn't officially start until the KD4, Nike is going to retro the KD3, but this time they're going to give it the Amp Pearl treatment. Now we've seen a handful of KD3 colorways return, some new, some old. This one, of course, being a new one, and this pair features a medium soft pink, white, and lotus pink color combination. Now this pair will drop on October 27th, and the retail price will be 130. Releasing for Halloween, we have the Nike Jaw 1 Zombie. This pair we've actually seen quite a few different images of in previous videos, but as you can see on the hills, they have the zombie hands reaching up, a pretty cool treatment mismatched branding on the tongue labels and overall they're covered in shades of green the official colorway is lime blast oil green black hemp and cacao wow they'll drop on october 20th so just before halloween and the retail price will be 120. all right it's time to do a little bit of reading here nike officially unveiled Devin Booker's first signature shoe, the Nike Book One. So I'm going to read straight from Nike on this. We'll get into some of the release details after, although there's not much, but it reads, Nike Basketball welcomes Devin Booker to its signature family by introducing his first signature shoe, the Nike Book One. A three-time All-Star at 26 years old, Booker has established himself as one of the best players in the NBA. He's always focused on his game, pouring over every move on his way to becoming one of the top shooting guards in the league. With his methodical approach, he's inspired by the fundamentals of the greats. Booker's personal style is inspired by the same qualities that define his game. Classic, original, but still geared to perform. His debut shoe, the Nike Book 1, was designed with classic Nike style in mind with the goal of still being able to perform at the game's highest level. Early on, we landed on the phrase, future classic, says Booker. At the beginning of the design process, we landed on the idea of the shoe combining lifestyle and performance worlds. The goal was to create something that would be timeless. Booker gave the design team a few silhouettes as starting points, such as the Air Force One, the Blazer, and the Air Jordan One. Design inspiration also comes from one of his restored cars, his 72 Chevy Blazer K5, a blue beauty he nicknamed Uncle Larry and turned into a lowrider. It's LS swapped, he says, so the original engine is replaced by a modern high-performance one. He preserved the car's original patina, so it has a vintage exterior. High-tech on the inside, classic on the outside. 
Using insights from Booker and Young Hoopers around the world, the Nike Book One offers athletes a tailored combination of lateral stability, cushioning, and responsiveness underfoot. To accomplish this, Nike design teams stacked a Cushlon 2.0 foam midsole with a rigid TPU sidewall for added support with a top-loaded Nike Zoom airbag in the hill. On the outside, a workwear-inspired canvas and twill upper adds durability, while a suede collar and genuine leather across the forefoot provide more reinforcement and a familiar plush broken-in fill. The pull tab at the hill was inspired by a book spine with numbers referencing chapters in an ongoing story. The Nike Book One releases in spring 2024 in two colorways. So we actually have one colorway expected to release this holiday season. That is known as the Nike Book One Chapter One, and that will come in clay orange, ice peach, and campfire orange. Now the other two colorways that we know of so far, the first comes in light warwood brown, multicolor, sesame, baroque brown, cell, and safety orange, and the second one will feature ashen slate, multicolor, light carbon, football gray, summit white, and safety orange. Now, the retail price will be 150 each, and on the chapter one pair, there should be more information coming soon. Along with the book one, Nike also unveiled the LeBron 21. So again, there's going to be some more reading, just like I did for the book one. And then at the end, I'm going to give some additional information. But it reads, the LeBron 21 is built for basketball's next generation. LeBron didn't need to look very far to find his muse for the shoe, his eight-year-old daughter, Zuri. Inspired by the notion of protection for the modern player, the shoe's upper is inspired by an oyster shell protecting the pearl inside. Using lightweight materials, the upper's venting is striated to look like the venting of a shell, helping contain the player during explosive movements. That containment is visualized by a lightweight mono mesh reinforced by 360 degrees of zonal cables around the midfoot, helping support and secure the player over the footbed. Perforations on the medial swoosh provide enhanced breathability. Underfoot, the shoe features a zoom turbo unit in the forefoot and a bottom-loaded 13mm zoom unit in the support propulsion. A full-length Cushlon 2.0 foam carrier for a pillowy fill and a TPU midfoot shank provide stability and extra pop for dynamic movements. As we took our next steps from the LeBron 20, we were inspired by the way LeBron maintains his body and his game during the offseason, says Jason Petrie lead designer of the LeBron 21. His trainer says it's like taking care of an F1 car. You tweak the car between each race. You don't need to rebuild the car completely. We wanted to retain some of the elements we know he loved, like the zoom turbo unit, but refine some of the finishes in the upper. The shoe features other qualities inspired by an oyster shell. Exposed construction on the foxing gives a shell-like appearance. The perforated foam tongue is quilted, also imitating a shell's appearance and providing a plush fill. The LeBron 21, available in full family sizes, releases globally beginning September 28th. The first colorway to release is known as a Koya, and that is a certain type of pearl from an oyster from what I just researched. Apparently there's different types of Akoyas, but this pair features a light bone, campfire orange, celestine blue, pink rice, and dark rusted color combination. Now, this is the pair that they officially unveiled, and they'll drop them on September 28th. The retail price will be $200. Now, the next pair is the one I like the most, and this is known as Abalone or Abalone Pearl. Some years back, you guys might remember the Abalone Foam Posit 1 that dropped, and basically the upper of this shoe resembles the inside of an Abalone shell. The official colorway is Industrial Blue, Court Blue, Photon Dust, and Pink Rise. This pair will drop on December 1st, and the retail price will be 210 This holiday season, we have a new Nike Air Max Penny 1 dropping, and this pair is known as Stadium Green. Now, in my opinion, these are really nice. That shade of green really pops, and the official colorway is Stadium Green, Metallic Gold, White, Mystic Green, and Blue Lightning. Using Nubuck on the upper, this pair features green throughout, along with mesh on the tongues, and then white covers part of the midsole and comes up on the wing on the lateral side. It also covers part of the outsole, and then we have metallic gold on the branding, which is outlined in blue lightning. 
Lastly, we have a large swoosh on the outsole, which is dipped in blue lightning. Unfortunately, no release date for this pair, but they're going to drop this holiday season, and the retail price will be 180 Getting back to Nike's unveiling for the holiday season, we now have new photos of the Nike Kobe 4 Pro Tro Black Mamba. I like this shoe, I just wish there was a little bit more gold. We do have a little bit which lands on the signature, possibly on the insole branding. I haven't seen any images of the insole. Other than that, the shoe is done in completely black. And one of the nicer details on the shoe is the snakeskin detailing on the swoosh, around the toe, and on the ankle. We also have his number 24 debossed on the heel. And this pair is currently scheduled to release on December 26th. The retail price will be 190 we have a few upcoming releases for 2024 if you're an Air Force One fan that you're gonna want to grab. And the first one is the Nike Air Force One Low Linen. So this pair originally dropped back in 2001 and was part of Nike's Co.JP series. We saw the shoes return back in 2016. However, it was a very, very limited drop and was available during Art Basel for KISS Miami store opening. This time around, the official colorway will be linen, atmosphere, and true white. We'll have linen across the entire upper with atmosphere, a shade of pink on the swoosh, and branding. Other details includes white on the tongue, laces, liner, and midsole, and then atmosphere will cover the outsole. No specific release date for this shoe, but they're expected to drop summer 2024, and the retail price will be 135 now, this news isn't 100% confirmed just yet, but Nike is expected to bring back the Air Force One Low Uno Sakura in 2024. Now, this is an extremely rare pair of Air Force Ones that originally dropped in 2005 in Japan and celebrated Japan's cherry blossom season. They're named after the Uno district in Tokyo and, of course, pays tribute to the annual cherry blossom season. Now, some of you may remember back in 2007, Nike did a vote to find out the greatest Air Force One in history. It was only in three cities, which includes Philly, Baltimore, and NYC. This Air Force One received the most votes in Baltimore, and Nike actually wanted up re-releasing the shoes, but again, very limited. So the rumor of this shoe releasing has sparked again because an individual was spotted wearing a 2024 retro version of the shoe. And this was spotted by Sneaker News. So I'm going to give them credit for that. Now again, I am waiting to hear back from my sources on this. They haven't 100% confirmed it yet. They said it's possible. Now more than likely the 2024 pair will not come with the wooden box. Although that would be dope. And at the time of recording, we don't have a specific release date. Expected to release sometime in 2024 and no retail price as of yet. Last up from Nike, the brand has unveiled the Kobe 6 Pro Tro Reverse Grinch. Now we've seen multiple images of this shoe from various different sources. However, I did wanna share it because Nike just unveiled it and this is one of the hyped up releases of holiday 2023. I have more information on the release date, which I'll announce in a second, but this pair, I'm 100% gonna cop. I like this pair a little bit more than the OG Grinch but both are very nice. Now, we do know that they'll release in at least men's in grade school sizing. I believe that's it. There's possible it could be more. And they're currently scheduled to release on December 16th, and the retail price will be 180 Moving on to Jordan brand, and we have a first look at the Air Jordan 13 Purple Venom. Now, this will be a grade school exclusive, and the color blocking is nice. I actually like it. And it features purple venom, black and white. The thing I don't like about the shoes is the hologram. Well, the lack of. It looks like the brand just printed 2-3 in a Jumpman. Now, I could be wrong, but I don't see any hologram-like effect to it. So, it looks like this time they just printed it. And some of you might remember in the early to mid-2000s, a lot of like the fake 13s. They're really bad and they didn't have a hologram. It was just printed on. I mean, now the shoes have gotten a lot better, but that's what this reminds me of kind of. But the shoes feature purple venom on the mesh panels. It also hits the liner inside of the tongue and hinted on the outsole. And then we have black, which hits the lower part of the shoes, covers the tongue, heel, and covers most of the rubber outsole. 
Lastly, we have some white detailing. Like I mentioned, this is a grade school exclusive and they're currently scheduled to release on October 2nd. The retail price will be 160. There's been a lot of collaborations landing on the Jordan Air ship. We have another one coming soon and this is from Japanese retailer Forget Me Nots. The Forget Me Nots Jordan Air ship is known as From Bud to Flower and this will release exclusively in women's sizing. Now the inspiration is from a blossom, how it begins as a white bud and it matures into a blue or purple bloom. This pair features white across the upper with gray suede on the swoosh. We also have accents of blue which lands on the tongue label, liner, and the rubber outsole. We have a little bit of purple which fills in the tongue branding and Nike Air on the heels. Now there's a rumor going around that the shoes may wear away, but that hasn't been confirmed just yet. Now, at the time of recording, this pair is scheduled to release on September 27th. They will be available at Forget Me Nots and select neighborhood retailers, and the retail price will be $150. It's been a minute since I spoke on the Amma Manier Air Jordan 5 Photon Dust, aka Diffuse Blue, which is a women's exclusive, so some new images popped up. I wanted to share that. Nothing really new on the news front. I'll get into the release details in a moment. One thing I do like about the shoe is the repeated A that's used on the panels in the tongue. I'm also a huge fan of the aged look. I know some of you guys don't like it. The shoes will also feature Nike Air branding, the number 23 stitched on the lateral side, and a slightly thinner tongue, kind of like MJ's PE, and they also have Amma Meniere's branding. So this pair, along with the black pair, is scheduled to debut on November 22nd, and the retail price will be 225 Product shots of the Air Jordan 13 Wheat have arrived, and again, I wanted to share that. Now, this shoe originally dropped back in 2004, and for many years, people have been asking for the shoes to return. I've seen it multiple times on message boards, Twitter, and other places. Now, I do see a good amount of people still wanting to get them. However, I don't see as many as I once did. So I kind of wonder if this holiday season is just so flooded that this pair might go to the back burner. People anticipate them going on sale, which is a possibility. And I'm all for buying shoes on sale. But for me, I think this is a shoe that I'm going to pick up right away. I'm not going to wait. Just because I wanted it back in the day. I never got them. And I think it's actually a clean and simple colorway. So if you're looking to buy, they drop on November 21st. And the retail price will be 200 I believe it was in the last video we saw a preview of the Air Jordan 6 Gore-Tex in brown kelp. Well, thanks to these product photos, we now have a detailed look. And they're solid. They're not bad. But if we're comparing Gore-Tex shoes, I definitely like the Air Jordan 5 Gore-Tex that dropped, I believe it was last year or the year before. I can't remember. There's been so many shoes. But this is clean. Now, take note, this is a women's exclusive release, and they feature brown kelp. Team Gold, Shadow Brown, and Court Purple. So as you can see, there's shades of brown throughout. And the purple detailing, you can see on the branding, hinted on the spoiler, the label that's right next to the spoiler, which reads Gore-Tex, and across the insoles. The outsoles where the translucent areas are, it's like a gum brown used. So overall, these definitely have boot vibes to them. However, the actual inspiration is from an original colorway from the Nike Air Moab. That's part of the ACG line. And for those that want to grab this pair, they drop on November 29th. The retail price will be 250 which in my opinion is really steep. But hey, if you like them, go after them. This is a shoe that I can never get enough images of. It's the Air Jordan 12 Cherry. Now, I did go over this shoe in the previous video. I talked about them being showcased in the Sneakers Live. However, we only had the one image. And we have shared some images prior to this, but... This is probably our best look yet, and they are product photos. And I know a lot of people do want to grab this shoe, so they will drop in full family sizing. And as you can see, they will come in OG form. Both of those are a plus. I know I plan on grabbing myself a pair, my son, maybe my girl, maybe my daughter. I don't know. My daughter's not really into sneakers. My son, he does like them, but he's young. So yeah, you can grab them for the full family on October 28th, and the retail price will be 210 it looks like we have another Mocha Air Jordan 1 dropping. 
This time it'll be in 2024, and they're being called the Air Jordan 1 High OG Latte, aka Legend Medium Brown. Now that is due to the colorway, which is black, legend, medium, brown, white, and cell. So this is a mock-up. However, from what I've been told by Z Sneakerhead Z, shout out to him, this is an accurate one of what's releasing. So the color blocking is exactly like the Air Jordan 1 High OG Mocha that dropped several years back, specifically in 2020. But this pair is said to have a lighter shade of brown. But other than that, the color blocking is still the same. Now, one thing I should have mentioned right away is that this is going to be a women's exclusive. Now, I'm all for the women getting their own shoes and stuff, but I think they should start releasing shoes in unisex sizing or sizing specifically for men's, specifically for women, especially on a shoe like this, because I know a lot of men are going to want to buy them. And at the time of recording, I'm not sure if they're going to release an extended women's sizing but more information should be available soon. Now, as for the release details, they are expected to debut summer 2024, and the retail price will be 180. Now, in my opinion, these are nice. I like that lighter shade of brown. This Photoshop shows them using Nubuck, which I also think would be a nice touch to them. Anyways, let me know your thoughts on these down below if you plan on picking them up or passing. And that's going to do it for this video. Like always, greatly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here, subscribe by hitting the button below. Also, if you haven't done so yet, turn on the notification bell so you can be alerted every time I drop a new video. Now, if any of you guys visit sneakerfiles.com, which I'm sure most of you have, if not, that's where I post the stuff first, usually. Now, I have taken a break from the articles. Now, this isn't just a regular break. I've actually been working daily and that's on the back end of things, trying to relaunch the website, fix a bunch of things, and then move forward, be stronger. I'm also gonna have a new section where it sh it'll show you right at the top what shoes are releasing soonest to latest. I'm actually quite proud of that section. It took a lot of coding, nerd stuff, you know, but I got that worked out. So expect more updates on the website very soon. And as far as another video, if there's enough news, I'll make sure to put it together and drop it this week. So like always, be on the lookout for that. Again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.